good morning so in our next video we are going to perform the bioassay of acetylcholine using interpolation method now interpolation bioassay this is one of the method to perform the bioassay there is a different types of the bioassay are uh, there like you can say that matching bioassay bracketing bioassay three point bioassay four point bioassay and interpolation bioassay now this particular interpolation bioassay it is a form of the graded response assay let graded response assay and involve no statistical data and many calculation that is it is that means it is just a simple form of bioassay method in this experiment what we are doing that first you are obtain the dose response curve or the drc or the crc of standard acetylcholine solution in our previous experiments we have performed the crc or the drc of acetylcholine so similarly first we need to get the crc curve or the drc curve for the acetylcholine next we need to perform the crc of unknown sample unknown acetylcholine sample clear crc of unknown acetylcholine sample and then using the graphical interpolation process or by extrapolating the percentage of the response we are finding the concentration of the drug present into the unknown acetylcholine solution or the test acetylcholine solution so interpolation bioassay it is less time consuming and it is uh, still it is reliable compared to the matching or the bracketing type of the bioassay now one of the main advantage of this particular process is their sensitivity now sensitivity of the tissue is first determined by prior plotting of the dose response curve of known agonist and then we are you can say that interpolating from the crc of unknown uh, acetylcholine solution if the linearity of the curve is good then we can get the uh, a good response but if linearity is not good then it is difficult to get the actual result so this one of the graded response assay it is very easy to perform first we required the crc of the standard sample and crc of the test sample and after that through the calculation we can find the concentration of the drug present into the unknown sample so let us perform it uh, through the software so in the software directly it is not given but i am going to explain how we need to we can perform it and uh, we should calculate the co concentration so all those thing we are discussing into the next video but you should understand the basic of bioassay and basic of interpolation bioassay before you start the experiment